Well, it seems like it's been years since Ford originally teased us with the new Bronco. Those vehicles have finally started hitting dealerships and owners have them in their hands. And one thing Ford promises with the new Bronco, it was designed to be modified. I mean, they're going up against the Jeep. Jeep is one of the most modifiable vehicles on the market. So it makes sense for the Bronco to be the same way. When it comes to modifying Ford vehicles, one of the biggest names in the game is gonna be Roush Performance. Now you're probably familiar with Roush, we've done a ton of installs on their parts, but if you walk into a dealer, you can buy a Roush Mustang, a Roush F-150, or a Roush Super Duty. Now when it comes to the Bronco, Roush is actually doing it a little bit differently. They're offering this R-Series kit. Now basically what this kit is, is an entire crate full of Bronco parts, along with a set of wheels, allowing you to modify your Bronco at home. The cool thing about this kit though, if you purchase a kit, it's considered a serialized Roush vehicle, so now you have a Roush Bronco. So what's included in the kit? Well, let's pop open the box and take a look. So before we bust open the crate, let's talk about these wheels. These high strength alley wheels are included in the Bronco R-Series kit. Now they don't include tires, but it includes five wheels. They're gonna be a 17 by eight and a half with a plus 25 offset. Now Roush recommends a 325 70 17, which is about 34 and change tall and just under 12 and a half wide. We decided since we're probably gonna lift our Bronco at some point and tires are expensive, we have a little bit of a bigger tire here. With the BFG Mud Trains, it's gonna be a 35 by 12 and a half, which again is only slightly larger than the recommended size and should fit our Bronco no problem. All right, let's bust open this crate, take a look inside. Let's reach inside here and open up some of these boxes, see what we got. Obviously it's Roush. You know there's gonna be some performance stuff in here. There's gonna be a cold air intake and an exhaust for it. They give you a lot of accessories too with this kit. I said it really is a complete build for your new Bronco. I guess it's gonna be a recovery kit. So again, you got your rope, some gloves, some D-rings. Oh, flashlight. Okay, so this is gonna be the console vault. This is actually a pretty cool piece, especially for a vehicle like the Bronco. We have one of these in our F-150. It basically does, it goes in the center console of your vehicle and gives you a lockable space. And it uses a combination lock, so you don't need a key for it. So it's nice if you're parking your Bronco, the roof's off, whatever, you can put your valuables in there and lock them so they're safe when you get back. All right, so trailer hitch cover. Oh, there you go. Roush key fobs some Roush fender badging. There's a license plate frame and then a front plate if you unfortunately have to have one. Okay. Like I said, these are official Roush vehicles. So instead of Roush, you know, a lot of the times these are built pre tunnel you buy them at the dealership. In this case, you're actually doing it yourself but it's gonna be an official vehicle and it comes with a certificate when you order the kit. Okay, again, some more decals for the kit. Jack Rouse Senior decal, some American flags, and then there you go, your serial number for the kit. Okay, here we have our Roush cold air kit. And the nice thing with the Bronco R-Series kit, it's gonna fit your 2.3 or 2.7 Bronco. It'll also fit the two-door or four-door, so it's one kit fits all vehicles. Yo, nice big filter with that kit too. In case you guys are wondering, this is actually my first time seeing this kit. As you can tell, the boxes were opened. Our photographers took some photos for our website. 
So they saw all this stuff, but this is my first time seeing it. Okay, and this is the graphics package here, and they're all rolled up. Basically, there's graphics for the side of your Roush. I think there's something for the rear, and there's something for the front right above the windshield as well. And the graphics are gonna be a matte black, so they'll work with pretty much any color Bronco you get. I'm gonna guess this one's the exhaust system. go. Nice matte black tip. This again fits the 2.3 or 2.7. This is going to be their stainless steel exhaust system, direct replacement for your factory setup. And this is going to be a higher tuck system than factory. The muffler I can see is way smaller than the factory muffler is going to be. This? Okay. This is going to be a complete floor liner kit from Roush. Heavy duty fitted mats for it's like front seat. There's the back seat. One for the rear area as well. The Bronco R Series kit from Roush is really a nice package if you want to take your brand new Bronco and really completely transform it into a Roush vehicle. I mean, they thought about the performance side of it with the exhaust and the intake, the killer set of wheels, and then all the small stuff too the mats, the key fobs, the vault, all the decals. Let's get started with the installation. You can be in the installation of the R Series kit pretty much anywhere you want to. In our case, we're going to start with the performance stuff. So we can do the exhaust and then the intake. We've been in the installation of our Roush axle back exhaust system. We're going to start by removing the factory muffler by starting with the clamp right here. All right, now we're going to remove the muffler from the hangers. We did actually spray these with some silicone in advance to make it a little bit easier. Grab the muffler and just sort of twist it off. All right, the next step is this rear hanger located on the rear metal bumper. Now, if you have a 2.3 liter like we do, you have to unbolt this and flip it upside down. If you have a 2.7 liter, you want to use the provided 2.3 hanger and again, orientate it upside down. Now, unfortunately, these nuts are welded to the bracket. So you have to get the bolts from the other side. The only way to do that is to pop off the rear bumper. It's actually not as bad as it sounds. All right, now if you have sensors in your rear bumper, you have to disconnect this wiring harness right here. Same thing on the other side. Now you're gonna move this bolt right here, the one that goes through two layers of metal. Again, same thing on the side. So now these two lower bolts. Now, depending on what model you have, this could have a tow hook attached to it. In the case of our outer banks, it only has one on the driver's side. Remove these on this side, same thing on the other side. Now, remove the last bolt. Make sure you're holding the bumper because at that point, the bumper is going to come off your Bronco. Now all that was the access, these two 10 millimeter bolts. have to loosen them. You can slide the bracket forward and off. 
And again, just flip it upside down, put it right back in place. And you can reinstall your bumper. Start her in the driver's side, put our Roush muffler into the factory hanger, and then put it up, line it up, and put it into the factory pipe. And lastly, the hanger we just moved. All right, now you can tighten the factory clamp. Install the clamp and install our Roush tip. And you can have this pretty much down as far as you want. You want it tucked, so we're gonna go back a little bit with it. And the installation of the axle back is finished. All right, finish the installation of our axle back. You can see it's tucked up nice. If you want to remove the tip for off-roading, you easily could. Let's move on to the intake. Installation is pretty straightforward. You remove these four screws to remove the factory intake lid. All right, now separate the lid. Basically push down here, just pop this off. Remove the stock filter. And you can see the Roush filter is much larger than factory, plus it's a much better quality reusable filter. It does come with this pre-filter. If you're talking and doing some real off-roading, a lot of mud, a lot of dirt, put the pre-filter around the filter. In our case, it's not really our plans. We're gonna use the filter as it is. Now with the new Roush filter on, kind of seat it at the top and then push down the back here. It'll lock into place. All right, now grab the Roush provided lid. And you want to grab the seal. Basically, you're going to work your way around. This is what's going to seal it properly when it's installed. Just take your time, make sure it is seated. Press it into the inlet. Then reinstall the factory screws. Now grab the supplied emblem, peel off the backing. And your installation's finished. All right, our quarter kit's done. Let's move on to the interior. All right, moving on to the interior, we're gonna start by pulling out our carpeted mats and install our new Roush floor liners. All right, just pop these off the little mounting buttons. 
carpet ones aside. You can see the rash liners are huge compared to our factory rubber mats. Plus it's a deep liner, so if you get mud, water, whatever, these tall edges will keep it on the mat and off your factory carpet. So get it up into place. And then lock the tab. You can see, like I said, it fits in deep and goes up over the door sill as well when it's installed. And do the same thing over on the driver's side. Give you some better photos once they're all installed, but these things fit the contour of the floor perfectly. Now again, in the back seat, pop out our factory mats. Now for the rear mat, you can see it's a one piece mat. And again, deep edges all the way around. So if you spill anything or get any mud, whatever, it's gonna stay on the mat, off the carpet. And finally, the rear mat. I will mention on the rear mat, there are cutouts. If you do want to have the hooks come through. Okay, with the floor liners finished, we're gonna move on to the console vault. This is the main frame for it, where it says front. We'll go forward, you drop it in place like this. Grab the top plate, should open up, but if not, the code's four zeros to start. And basically these four studs line up with these holes in here. Push them outward, install the four nuts. Basically make sure you push it towards the outside and tighten those nuts. Now we're gonna anchor down the vault, basically in each corner, facing two forward and two back. We put these self-threading screws in and then tighten them down. Again, don't over tighten them. When they bottom out of the nuts, you're good. And then you can see, you can close the lid lock it, and then turn the numbers to lock. But before you do that, you want to set your combination. So to set your custom combination, you're basically going to open it, keep the door open. On the driver's side here is a small hole where my finger is. Push that in with a paper clip, hold it in, set the numbers to what you want, remove the paper clip, and your lock is set. All right, so now one of the parts we're definitely looking forward to. Let's get these 255 SUV looking tires off here and get a real set of wheels and tires that belong on a Bronco. I mean, obviously a huge difference here, but not only that, going to the smaller wheel gives us more sidewall, so we air these things down off-road, they're gonna work a lot better than the stock wheel and tire. So we got our rash wheels installed and with our new BFG tire is a completely changed the look of this Bronco. Now for one of the last parts of the Roush package, and that's to install the decals. Now we're not gonna show you the actual process. Again, if you're not comfortable with the decals, hire someone to do this for you. But we're gonna show you where everything goes and then show you the finished product. The kit comes with a bunch of decals along with some emblems. You've got two decals that are gonna go the length of the body line. You're gonna have two flags going underneath each emblem on each side, two Roush emblems for the front of the fender, a hood graphic, 
a graphic that's gonna go on the bar right above your windshield, and then two graphics for the tailgate area. So one of the last steps of the process here is Roush does not skip on the details. They give you these new little back plates for your key fob. To install it, you're simply gonna squeeze and pull the key out. And you can actually use the key and get underneath this corner here. Pop off the old one, push that end in, line up both the other tabs. Lock it in place and then reinstall the key. Now the rest decal is installed. The last part of the puzzle is the official Roush serial number, making this a Roush Bronco. So our Bronco R-Series kit from Roush is installed and it completely changed the look of this Bronco. I mean, this is a completely different vehicle from when we started the installation. And again, keep in mind, this is an official Roush kit. So if you put this on your Bronco, it is a serialized Roush vehicle, which you know could add some value down the road. But either way, as far as the installation goes, you can use basic hand tools. The entire package, taking maybe a weekend to install, be back on the road in no time.